Hello. <clears throat> Nomad Sculpt Quick Shots Part 21. Um, metal frames or frames uh, like this. Okay, I switch to the Nomad app. This is uh, such a thing. Um, oops. Let's create a new scene. We don't need the sphere. Um, we go to the left view and we need the tube tool. Um, we can use the path and let's add a few dots um, to create the base shape of the for example, a car or something. And when you tap the green uh, button, it uh, creates the tube. Uh, on the top, you can close it. And when you tap the white uh, balls, they appear in black. When the shape is a uh, hard, uh, hard edge, come on. And when you bring it over, uh, one dot over the other, then it turns to red and uh, then it's gone. And then you can adjust the... Uh, it like this. Um, you can make it more complex. Uh, in the topology, you can pin it on. You can reduce um, the, the division. And you can uh, reduce it also I think I have to add here a point and for example we add here one. Uh, we can reduce the radius of the frame or the tube and when we are fine we can use the mirror tool. Uh, then we have two pieces uh, and we can switch to autographic view. Um, we can use also the gizmo to position the objects in, the, in a distance. Um, okay. Um, when we are fine, we can validate this object. Um, we can use um, the tube tool again, use the path tool and we can um, add here um, a tube, topology, uh, oh, not topology, um, have we validated it? Cube, curve, ah, we need the path. Okay, again, uh, we can use the snap function in the top. Um, we can adjust the radius a little bit and we edit the topology. Four is enough and reduces um, to two. Um, we go a little bit closer in the view and we bring this, uh, this connection point to this point. Now I think it's okay.
<coughs> we can validate this one. Uh, in the display settings, we can turn the outline on and switch to the left view. And in the transform settings, um, normally there's scale, rotation and um, move selected. Select only the move and now clone this object. And now you can bring it um, in position. You can do it uh, clone, position, clone, for example, here again in the middle. Clone. I think it's enough. Um, you can select this one. Um, when you turn on um, the gizmo, you can adjust it a little bit. It is a little bit too too wide. Check the, the parts. I think it's okay. Uh, we can go to the scene menu. Um, we can select all possible tubes and simple merge them. Um, we can add a um, Another tube, uh, for example, we need uh, the path tool again. Um, we can, oops. And in this uh, function, turn the mirror on and uh, check the planes. Um, we can reduce the radius again. In the topology, we reduce the division and it's fine. We can position the objects like this. And on the left side, there's a button uh, curve, press it again. And you can uh, pass, press it again, and um, you can add another another one. It's uh, not, not very convenient uh, that the division jumps always uh, back and the the settings are gone um, from the tube. Um, go to path. Don't validate the objects. And reduce it. bring the objects in position like this. You can, uh, as long as the uh, objects are not validated, you can uh, adjust them very easily. Um, I think it's enough. Um, turn the mirror on and here also the mirror on. Um, when you're fine, go to the scene menu, uh, select all, simple merge it, and now you can test the topology. Uh, you can use the decimation function. 
nothing happens. Um, I used the remesh and decimate it um, then and um, it looks like this and for example a subdivision um, brings uh, such effects like this um, and when you use a flat subdivision and subdivide it again uh, there are such uh, um, uh, on the on the corners um, when you need it it's okay uh, when not uh, go a step back and um, leave the flat subdivision on and now uh, some sometimes then where is a point um, these things do not appear any longer or you can use the remesh function and uh, use the mesh as this um, in in this uh, stadium of the of the um, the mesh, you can um, adjust it a little bit, uh, make it a like it make it like this, or um, you can use brushes, the drag brush, for example. Uh, can uh, use always the symmetry and adjust the mesh <laughs> and you can sculpt a little bit Turn the wireframe off. Outline off. And a little bit of No, okay, uh, I think the subdivision and um, uh, we have to go a few steps back uh, to clear, um, to make it clearer. Um, to keep. Um, I hope you, you can use it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.